Hi, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, and we're in Houston. We just watched uh, the LSU Tigers pull out another Les Miles special. Uh, they muddle around, they uh, fall behind, they look like they're done, they look like they're toast, and then uh, next thing you know, they're, <laughs> they're inching closer, and then they hit a big play, they get a touchdown, they take the lead, and they close it out. It's, uh, it, it's amazing how he does this. <laughs> That's one of those games where the uh, opposing fans walk out of the stadium going, did we lose? <laughs> how how that happened? I mean, like, we were we were killing them. We were up 24 to 7. I mean, they looked like they were like amateurs. And then it just seemed that one, uh, Anthony Jennings gained a, a, a great deal of confidence. I think him running the, the read option really got him into a rhythm. Uh, the, the offensive line finally played up to its billing. Uh, I feel like uh, a lot of it was LSU just kind of on both sides of the ball. The line finally wore them out. Yeah. And they seemed, you can see that all of a sudden it just like the, it flipped. I mean, and you looked at the first half of LSU and it's like, I mean, if you drove here from Baton Rouge to watch this, it was all you could do not to get in your car and just go, mm. I can't believe we wasted this money to watch this. But as you said, this is the 22nd, fourth quarter comeback and Les Miles starts his 10th year. And uh, again, in the end, you just go, I don't know how he quite did it, but it, he, he did it. Yeah, and, uh, and there was a lot going on, too. There, there was so much going on with this team. Uh, we had a quarterback derby, and there was nothing but talk since the end of spring about, about who was going to be the starter. Anthony Jennings, um, he won the job, and I think he may even, even tighten his grip on it because uh, apparently Brandon Harris went in, and, and he just wasn't ready. He, it, he looked like uh, he looked nervous. They went back to Jennings. Jennings, like you said, he ran a few plays. I think he, he got some confidence, and, and they had to open it up a little bit because they were when they fell behind by by 17 points, they had to go and, and they had to let him try to throw some balls, and he did, and, and he was successful. And then. LSU's defense didn't play that well either. I, they were getting gashed by Melvin Gordon. I think uh, uh, something must have happened uh, 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 to Gordon. He only got two carries after a 63-yard run early in the, in, in the second half, first play of the second half. And uh, he only got two more carries. Uh, Coach Gary Anderson would not ad admit to any injury, and, and his teammates wouldn't say anything about him possibly being hurt. But that had to help. But it, I think LSU did play much better defensively. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I, I thought they, they got off blocks better. But they're, they're they were a lot quicker. Uh, they, they seemed uh, uh, they were able to get more pressure on the quarterbacks. But the, the two interceptions they got were strictly from you know blitzing in and, and really forcing a, a bad throw to toss one up. And you know, the, you know they got both of those, and it was like you could just you could just feel everything flip so quick. And and as soon as LSU got the ball on offense, they were you know they were getting five, six, seven yards a pop. Where in the first half. They would get stopped and step into the run almost, and it, it just—it was quite amazing to watch this. And uh, you know, people always talk about the importance of winning a season-opening game. Uh, it was very important to this team, and it also it was important from the fact that they came back and, and you know, if they would have lost this game and come back and looked good doing it, it probably would have helped. But if they would have, this game would have ended in the third quarter. Man, I mean, this would be something that, 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 that the hangover from this game would take at least two or three weeks. Yeah, and we'll see how that how that uh, how they bounce back from it. Uh, they, it's always nice to fix a bunch of mistakes after a victory. So Absolutely. we'll see what they do next week against Sam Houston State. We'll be back with you on NOLA.com.